Namaste. I am Dr. Nischal, practicing as a consultant dermatologist at Nirmal Skin and Hair Clinic, Vijayanagar, Bengaluru. Atrophoderma. What does it mean? Derma means skin and atropha means atrophy. Atrophy means loss of tissue. So, in this condition, there is loss of skin tissue and because of that, the skin becomes sunken. So, it is nothing but a scarring process which happens in the body. So, this scarring can give rise to either something which is projecting because whenever there is damage to the collagen, the deeper layers of the skin tends to poke out. So either it can happen like that, that's commonly called as an anatoderma, or it can give rise to a depressed scar-like thing, that is your atrophoderma. So atrophoderma commonly happens on the face, it can in your eyebrows. So here the scars happen without any inflammation. There are no red rashes, there are no pimple-like eruptions, but still the skin starts getting damaged. And this damage can also involve the hair follicles giving rise to a lot of scarring alopecia means the hairs tend to fall off and they never grow back. Why this happens? It's a genetically driven condition. It's basically a lot of mutations in the genes and it gives rise to this condition. Apart from that, no exact reason is known. Since it's a genetic condition, you can't get rid of this condition or you, you can't run away from this problem forever, but you can do something to control them. What happens is there is scarring. So whenever there is scarring, exposure to UV rays increases the collagen damage. So one simple way is whenever you see scarring or when you want to maintain a good skin, try to protect your skin from UV rays. See these UV rays may be an outside sun or it can be an artificial sources like a lot of your gadgets, your mobiles, laptop, LED light, everything emits some amount of radiation. So hence it becomes very important to apply sunscreen to the entire face, neck and exposed parts whenever you are inside or outside. So it is just like how we wear our clothes. Second aspect is vitamin C helps to improve the UV protection. So apply vitamin C serums or creams. So whenever the skin is a little bit oily go for serum because they are not very sticky and messy. When you have a dry skin you can prefer a cream base. Then you can also start using retinol products because retinol is known to stimulate a little bit of collagen. So the moment the collagen improves, the scarring tendency starts coming down or you are able to slow down the process. For that reason we give, we suggest retinol creams. What is the age group for atrophoderma? That is also very important. See, since it's a genetic condition, these atrophoderma scars can happen even in children. However, treating children becomes a challenge because many times they are not very bothered about that. If you are not applying sunscreens, then you can't give retinol creams. So in those situations, it depends upon the commitment of the parents or the commitment from the child side which promotes the treatment. For adults, it is UV protection, vitamin C, keeping the skin hydrated and applying retinol based creams does help to reduce the damage which is being caused. Coming to the technological treatments, so what all we do when there are scars? So commonly we do Tixel, it's a heat based treatment. It's not a laser or it's not a radio frequency but it's a pure mechanical heat which stimulates collagen. The other technologies to treat atrophoderma scars are radio frequency either microneedle radio frequency treatment or it can be a sublative radio frequency treatment. The treatments can also be lasers like carbon dioxide laser so or it can also be a simple procedure like PRP that is platelet rich plasma because platelets are containing lot of growth factors and you give growth factors to the skin, it stimulates fibroblasts and there is a lot of collagen production. So by any of these technologies, we can treat atrophoderma to a good level. It is not that we can van make them vanish, but at least we can improve the quality and texture of the skin. Thank you.